Okay, well, hello everyone. Welcome to Pot of This Together, the podcast where we try to build a human pyramid. <laughs> a human pyramid and the top one falls off, but we catch them before they hit yeah. the Yeah, I mean, whatever. Just get ready to go to nationals, bitch, because today we're watching Bring It On. <laughs> um, I am Dustin. I guess we should probably say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. names. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Who Josh. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who who are you, Josh? No one knows. I don't really know either. What's your cheerleading name, though? I wanted to ask that oh. before we got started. Can it be like Brayden? B r a y d e n. Brayden. Of course. Okay. I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm Ethan. Just. Oh, like, that's a good just, one. Yeah. Just sounds like a yeah, like a yell leader. Like that guy's Ethan. It's like yeah. <laughs> Big and strong, and I'm gonna flip you, flip you up. Yeah, Ethan, <laughs> go Ethan. Oh, I don't know why that's Be- so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, now you have me questioning my name, Josh. Jeez, she, uh, <laughs> she's laughing at me. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, just uh, it's spot on. Okay, Ethan yeah, and that's, Brayden. That's that's my inner name. My outer name is Dustin, of course. Wonderful. Well, if yeah. you had to pretend to make up the summary for this movie, what what would that be? Group of high like group of high schoolers that are surprisingly um, intimidating, catty, and care way too much about cheerleading. Never go to class. Oh my god! They never go to class. <laughs> they they go one day. It's the first day that the like they meet that one guy, and that was. That was And you know, the other thing was he comes into class, sits down, and then the bell rings. I was like, that's it. You're not going (laughs) to do have a class? Yeah, usually it's the beginning of the class when you're like, we have a new student. They're like, nope, here's our new student. The end of the day, go home. (laughs) Okay, well, I'll give you the official (laughs) IMDb. (laughs) Wait, what what would you do? What would you say? Oh, oh, um, oh. mm. (laughs) Come on, bring it. Bring, bring it on, Jack. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> um, really rude, not great white team steals from black team, never sees consequences. <laughs> they figure out they have to be original to get anywhere in life. <laughs> yeah, that's not true, Josh. I'll tell you the consequences later. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't spoiler it now. Oh, oh, there's spoilers. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll give you the official IMDb. Which is okay. a champion high school cheerleading squad discovers its previous captain stole all their best routines from an inner city school and must scramble to compete at this year's championships. Must scramble. Wow. Okay. And it was a scramble. It was. That's a lot to, that's a lot to take in on that IMDb. <laughs> this is yeah. There's a lot going on. <laughs> that was a, that was way their IMDb thing is like way more complicated than it needs to be. Just be like cheerleaders. That should have been the. That should have been the thing. Just that could have been it. That's what this movie <laughs> felt like. Um, what is your history with this movie? Do you have a history? Zero history. Like I've never seen it until yesterday. Um, I knew, obviously, I knew about it growing up because I didn't live in a hole. But like I, like I remember kids would make fun of the like the Toro song. Like I'm sure we'll get to that later. But like. I knew that that came from this movie, and I obviously knew that Kirsten Dunst and Gabrielle Union were in the movie. That's about that was about my max. Okay, I mean that's you. Pay, I mean, what else is there in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's not much else. I definitely knew about this movie. I had like the bad kid on the block. I was friends with him, and we would watch like movies we weren't supposed to. And this was one of them. And I was probably like nine years old or something when this came out. <laughs> And normally I would say, why is this a movie that you shouldn't watch? Because I'm like, it's PG-13, can't be that bad. Whoa, that was way raunchier than I thought it was going to be for a PG-13 movie. I'll just say that right now. Yeah, that, uh, 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 yeah, it was definitely more in your face than I remembered. But I, def- I definitely remember it being in your face. Like there's a reason it was naughty to watch. 
That's, I guess that's fair. Yeah, it was way more sexually suggestive, too. Like, right off the bat with that song, I was just like, what is going on? I was like, I thought I was like, did I find a free online version that's like a fake online version where they just, like, make this dirty? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The opening got me, for sure. I almost shut it off. I was like, yeah. no, I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, I knew this was wild, but this is something else. I don't know if I can do this. Um... <laughs> she like jumps up and her the top of her outfit falls off and you're like oh my god we're starting with this mm-hmm. and then you well, realize then they make yeah they make like songs about like ooh, all the boys want to touch blah 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 or like they're and they all that's what they had their cheerleader names too they're like i'm ginger i'm blah, blah, blah. And you're oh. just like okay you're like okay and i thought this was yeah real and then her, yeah her top falls off <sighs> And we, she wakes up, and it was all a bad dream. She wakes up, thank God, it was just a dream, guys. <laughs> it got me. Like, usually dream sequences, I can call them out right away. But this one, I was like, oh, no. Well, because it opens up at, like, a pep rally. You're like, yeah, this is right. This is a cheerleading movie. This mm-hmm. makes sense. <laughs> sense to me. And you're just like, sure. Weird. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Have you uh, ever had that dream, though, where, like, I've never, they always show that in movies and stuff where they're like, oh, you wake up and you're giving a presentation in class and you're like butt ass naked in front of the classroom. I'm like, I've never had that. (laughs) You've never had that dream? No, maybe I'm just not, not like scared of public speaking or I don't know. Or just like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm body positive. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, sure, drink it in. I haven't been like naked in a dream. Definitely been like pantsless. Where you're like halfway to school and you're like, oh my God, I'm not wearing pants. Then you worry about it and yeah. (laughs) So that's, so it is a real thing. I've always thought I was like, that's such a trope that people just throw out. I'm like, that's not a thing. Have you had dreams where your teeth fall out? Are you just not an anxious person? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think so. Usually, yeah, I've had bad stuff. So I do play basketball, though. And there's been dreams where I, like, I will jerk awake because, like, I dream a ball is coming at my face and I need to, like, catch it. And if I don't, it's going to go out of bounds or hit me in the face. So I've had, like, those anxious dreams, but, like, not ones where, like, publicly I'm just like, oh, God. (sighs) Wow. I'm trying to understand what that would feel like. (laughs) <laughs> just positive dreams you know <laughs> well, wow yeah i could never no <laughs> um new concept this is kirsten dunst who yeah. is really cute in this movie and was so young and this is before spider-man right that's the only way i know who she, <laughs> who she is i guess she's all she's also that like terrible tennis movie Wimbledon where she plays like the love interest of the guy oh wow yeah well like she's was... a good she's like she's a good tennis player and he's a good tennis player and then they meet like I don't yeah. know I've never I don't I think I've seen part of that but I don't know how that is <laughs> yeah I mean yeah I she, yeah she's done a lot she's done things interview with yeah. a vampire Ooh, true as a little kid great something about the uh, actually I, I can't even remember the names but she's been in a lot but she's yeah, done she's, her stuff. Yeah, she, she's a star. We know her. She really is. <laughs> In this movie, she's Torrance. Weird name, I thought. It is a weird name. I thought immediately when they were doing the cheerleader name, I was like, Torrance? I was like, that's the name for this girl that you chose for your main character? Right. And honestly, <laughs> it was so hard to catch all their names and their weird names that I didn't even write them down because I was like, I don't know what their name is. No. There, there's too many references in this movie about like weird name or like how many times they rhyme or like the cheer i was like i can't i can't possibly keep up with all like the weird responses i just like it just they rhyme all the time and it's very catty all the time uh, yes it, they were good too <laughs> well they were like classic like 2000s like lines though because there was a line about that one girl said something about like oh honey you better not have said that because you got you or you're gonna be touched by an angel and i was like wow touched by oh an my angel. I didn't even get that <laughs> I, reference. That, that was... one had stuck. That one steered in my head because I was like touched by an angel. I was like, that, I was like, I can't even believe that was on in two thousand, but it totally was. Wow. Yeah. Definitely. Some of the slang they used. I was like, it placed this movie in a different era. <laughs> it felt like it was in nineteen eighty five. It could like have that. very well been. Yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, mm, the two thousands were like that. I guess they really were. I don't know if it's a good thing or. <laughs> It was a time. It was just, it was a decade. Yeah. We'll choose to move on. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll actually get into the movie now, I guess. Oh, yeah. Torrance, um, her boyfriend, who was also a cheerleader, is heading off to college at the same time. Wait, when? what is going on? <laughs> People are moving and, like, a new captain is coming in. Like, they have to vote for a new captain. So is this the beginning yeah. of the school year? I would say it has to be the start of the school year then because, right, yeah. So it looks like in the summer – He's going to move off to college. And I think the one that was the captain also goes to college, but she's like weirdly still very much a part of their practices. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Either way, yeah. there's a boyfriend who's not very interesting and everyone is excited <laughs> to vote for cheer captain. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the boyfriend too was just like, get it in this realm of the movie too. But they like, they almost played him off of like, oh my gosh, he's so, like, everybody loved him, and, like, he was super popular in school, and then I was like, well, I don't know about your school, but it was like, I, like, we had a couple Yale, Yale leaders, but, like, they weren't, like, the main guy. Like, he was, like, usually that's, like, the basketball player, or the oh, quarterback, right. or what, I was just like, is he the guy? <laughs> <laughs> he, the he's it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, apparently, at the school, everything centers around cheer, because their football team is that bad. Which, I guess if you're going to be bad at football or the sport better be good at like the extra other extracurricular activities. Yeah. Have something at least. <laughs> They're not a scholars bowl team. That's for sure. Well, we don't know that. <laughs> we, we don't know that they could be good at scholars. Bowl. That's true. Everyone votes in Torrance, Terrence, Torrance, <laughs> Torrance, Torrance <laughs> to yeah. be the new team captain, which was, it seemed like that was the obvious pick. And everyone was excited yeah. and the old captain was really rude. Uh, so they vote her in. She's like, okay, let's have a great class. And then someone falls off the pyramid that they do. <laughs> well, so this actually, I only remembered two names and hers was one of them. I think her name was Carver or Carter, Carver, something like whatever. Because the reason, the reason I remember that is I thought it was hilarious because yeah, she does this elaborate, like first day as captain, like we're going to do this like really hard trick, right. To prove that like, this is going to be a tough year and we're ready to go. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. And they make fun of this girl because they're like, oh, somebody hasn't been like working out this summer. And it was her. And then they oh. she falls. And I was just like, wow, I feel like a carver right now because pandemic and I've lost all motivation to work out this summer. <laughs> You're going to be the one falling from the pyramid. <laughs> yeah, we're all okay. carver right now, guys. It's we like, kind of are, yeah. He's like, guys, leave her alone. She did her best, okay? Maybe we shouldn't have done that day one. Yeah, let's see. Have you ever, like, led something that just went horribly wrong like that? Uh, not too bad. I mean, I'm definitely, so again, basketball, I've, like, led a practice a few times, you know, or, like, drills where maybe it didn't work out as much as I thought, but I've never, like, <laughs> nobody's ever, like, broken their okay. neck or, or nose or anything like that. I, I can't say that's happened to me either, so, you know, fingers crossed it never does. <laughs> I hope it does for one of us. One of these things, we just have to experience. It. Yeah, like, true. It's part of life. So yeah, right away, square one, right? So like they already voted her in, everybody almost unanimously, but then immediately because of this happened, they're like, I don't know about this girl. You're like, right. okay. The whole cheer squad is weird. And they're just talking behind each other's back and classic, classic cheer stuff. Classic. <laughs> From what I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, enter in the scene, Cliff. Cliff, Cliff, Mr. Pantone, who is the new kid. Doom, doom, doom. And it seems like him and Torrance hit it off immediately. Yeah. Um, this is the one day, like we said, that they actually go to school for the year. So they had a good mm -hmm. one day at class. He gets introduced, which didn't they say it over the loudspeaker? It wasn't even like the teacher said it. Well, didn't they say, we have a new student from blah, blah, blah. Oh, Sorry, maybe. I think it was. And I was like, okay. And yeah. yeah, he just gets made fun of. But the way he handles those guys that make fun of him, she like kind of likes his attitude, I think. Oh, true. He they And thinks he's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does the thing where he's like, I don't know, I've lived here and they don't say that anymore. And I lived here and they don't say that. And in LA, they don't say that. It's like not cool anymore. I was like, because <laughs> they were doing me. that. <laughs> they yeah. Were doing the cough loser. He's like, oh, I haven't heard the cough loser in, mm, oh, never. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah burn it was <laughs> i was like and then they did it again afterwards and i was like i don't think he won that 
I don't, I mean, maybe he did, but I don't think he did. It was a weird interaction. I don't think anybody won in that interaction. Uh, no one was winning. <laughs> yeah. And, and although I'll say this, like her boyfriend sucks, like the one that she has currently, mm-hmm. but she is, yeah, pretty into this guy, like 100% off the bat, like didn't even say anything. Like she was just like, this guy is cute and not even hiding it. You're just like, all right, well. Yeah, it was very... She was yeah, she wasn't hiding it, no. <laughs> no. And we don't really fully know yet that the boyfriend is not that cool. True. He's like he's like okay right now. At the same time, another new girl is is here and she's going to the cheer tryouts, mm-hmm. which were crazy. Uh they had some wild <laughs> tryouts in there. I kinda liked the girl that kept starting over. She's like she'll mess up just a little bit and it was just like, I'm sorry, can I just like <laughs> Because I don't know if you've ever auditioned for, like, anything, but, like... Yeah, that's the feeling you get. You're, like, you start, and you're, like, okay, here we... Nope, no. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to say... Okay, here we go, and, oh, She kept messing yeah. up, but it was fine, but... Ugh. Yeah, if we could just, you know, maybe I could go next. <laughs> yeah, can I go, can I go second? <laughs> I think at the end, she completely breaks down, and she's, like, my boyfriend broke up with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just bawling and leaves and runs away, and I was, like... Yeah, we've been there. They have some guy who's trying to try out for like a musical who's like, oh, this isn't the musical tryouts. <laughs> He's like, actually really good though. Yeah. <laughs> I think they also have a mime somewhere in there. It was wild. Well, they have a lady, a girl that was like, she was okay. But then she's like, okay, but do I have to wear like underwear? Because I don't like to wear underwear. <laughs> you're just like, where? You're like, where'd that come from? And, right. And then they had like the little. I this was really weird because obviously it was the sister of one of the current cheerleaders, so they were trying to prop her up and be like, ooh, choose her. She's gonna be good. She's my sister. But she looked like she was eight years old. Like, was that supposed to be a freshman? Or I don't know. Like, <laughs> had it had to be. But she looked like she was eight. For real. Honestly, that's what real high school students look like though. that's a good point i think the rest of them are like 20 something so <laughs> I was gonna say, you mean they're not actually 30 when they film it yeah it's pretty wild i feel like things have changed in that regards i feel like people are more convincingly teenagers and teenager things right they do a better casting maybe now that's what i learned too when we watched i watched legally blonde with andoni and like people that were supposed to be like college i was like they look 40 <laughs> right <laughs> it's wild but you just accepted it in 2000 it, in you really three did. or whatever you're just like yeah sure yeah of course college kids yep <laughs> uh, so these cheer tryouts are not going that great and then in comes some girl with some questionable hairstyle choices yeah. to to show off her what gymnastics is that hairstyle skills. even it's like dread I, they weren't dreads but they, they kind of were like small braids Small ponytails? Oh, just everywhere? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they were everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, she has an attitude, though, for sure. Like, right off. And she had, like, a like a, like a a chain wallet and stuff. Oh, like she was, ooh. That's how you, that's how you know she they're was, cool. She was a bad girl. <laughs> exactly. They, no one else is on board, but I think Torrance sees she's actually skilled. She can do flips. Oh, my gosh. The flips. And the editing, like, every time she did a flip, they did, like, a body swish sound. Like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and I okay. knew little me was so into this. And I'd be like, oh, no way. How did she flip so much? <laughs> yeah. You're like, her body is actually making those cut sounds because, right. she, they're, because they're so crisp. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it looks... They, uh, they, I could see how, like, as a kid, you'd be like, oh, my gosh. But me as an adult, I was just like, eh, okay, she's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But apparently she's, like, really good at gymnastics and did gymnastics at her school, mm. apparently. Yeah. Which, I'll say this, though, the vibe that she gives off is not a very cheerleader vibe-esque vibe, but it's also not a gymnastics vibe either. So I'm not really sure where they're going with that. <laughs> they just needed a backstory. <laughs> they just, yeah. hard she, yeah, she was very much like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be a cheerleader. And that changed mm-hmm. literally in like, I don't know, two scenes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it took some convincing it from did. 
Kirsten Dun- Torrance, you know, she, because yeah, she went to her house to go be like, no, no, we're going to, I'm the captain. I'm going to make her, I'm going to make her be on the team basically. And that's when she realizes not only is this badass chick, like I'm going to go ask her to be on the team. That's also Cliff's sister. Right. Bum, bum, bum. Mm, mm, mm. Not a, it's a twist, but not very big. Is it a twist? <laughs> not, not as good as her cheer twist, but it's still a twist. <laughs> <Can you? laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a technical term, but I will take it. Cheer, cheer twist. <laughs> cheer twist. Um, I, that really made me honey. Honey. That really made me hungry for cinnamon twists. Ooh, from Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds delicious. I haven't had those in forever. I yeah, we. I have this line that okay. they do at one of their shows was my childhood, which is brr. It's cold in here. There must be some toros in the atmosphere. I, yeah, I swear. Like as soon as this movie came out, everyone in the world was doing this at their high school. Well, see, so that's that's how I knew about it too, right? It's just this cheer, and we would kind of like. I kind of make fun of We didn't have, we had like six cheerleaders total, like I'm from a really tiny school and they all, half of them played basketball as well on the girls basketball team. So like some, at some points there was only like three of them. Oh, at wow. a time. So, so we couldn't be doing like all these elaborate things, but like, so they would always kind of do those as like jokes, you know, they would start it and then kind of just laugh and then stop and people would be like, mm, okay, <laughs> they're doing the bring it on thing. Yeah. It was really like, <laughs> it was very culturally relevant. I will say that. It's cold in here right now. Is that some podcast listeners in the air? (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't. It doesn't fit as well. Yeah. Didn't feel that one. (laughs) It it would if, you know, if Kirsten Dunst was leading us. She would have made it. Yeah. They do. They are at like their first game. No. No, 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 no. So first. So finally, they convince the girl, right, Missy, Missy, yeah, Missy, to, to be on the squad. And so they're do, they're showing her, like, some of her cheers. And that's when they do the burr. They're, like, showing oh. her, like, oh, this is what we do. And she, like, storms out and is like, this is bullshit. And, she, and you're like, what? And, and then Torrance goes out and chases her again be like, Mm-mm, I'm captain. I brought you here. I'm bringing him back again. So the lady, uh, Missy's like, yeah, I'll be on your team or your squad, but you can't be ripping off cheers or whatever. And she's like what are you talking about and then she's like get in get in the car (laughs) get in the car i have to show you know every i swear every movie's just like get in no questions asked right people just do like yeah if someone said that to me i'd be like can you can you try to explain it like i I will but like where are we going as a fully functioning adult worried about safety right i'd be like i need to know more details first i'm not gonna get it yeah (laughs) Also, as a friend, I'd just be like, I can explain this to you in words. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we can drive to quick. L.A. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be real quick to be like, we're going to go to the school that I'm pretty sure you ripped off their dances at. I'd be like, what? I will get in. <laughs> right. But not as dramatic. As... And you can probably get away with it if you have a blue, blue Volkswagen. You know? That's, that's, what, she that's, that's what she trip. had. <laughs> I, I would be like, that. okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, okay. They go to LA to see the Clovers, who right. they have so been how ripping. How far up. is LA? I don't know where they're they supposed like a, to be. I feel like they're just in a suburb, maybe. I guess of LA. They're yeah, sure. They're in California. It's yeah, all not too, not too far. Right. I was just making sure. I was just like, if they're from like another state or something, like they got there real quick. Yes, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be close. So they watch the Clovers perform, and it's like the same songs, the same mixes, like Mm -hmm. everything. But better. Truly. And Gabrielle Union is just killing it. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't even know her name now in this movie, now that I think about it, though. I don't either. I don't... (sighs) So, so could this be the part where we talk about what I thought the movie was actually going to be about? Oh, sure. <laughs> because they, from knowing nothing, I thought this was going to be like, they see each other all the time, like they're rival schools, they play sports against each other, and that's when they like have little cheerleading battles on the side of the game. That's what I really thought it was about. And then I knew there was going to be a competition at the end, but like th- this, they didn't even know each other until this second, but they're rivals now. Like all of the, like, I think you are actually thinking of like some of the next movies. 
because I swear that happens. I mean, it makes sense. Like, there's more, like, bring it on. I always thought it was, like, them bringing it on to each other, like, one-upping each other. And, like, I swear there's more to this. (laughs) I thought so, too. I was just, like, they, I thought they were going to, yeah, like, this team wins this time. And then this team wins this time. And then, honestly, for some reason, I thought at the end of it, they were going to combine squads. And then, and then and then win a competition. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what that movie is. <laughs> well, that's just I made it up. Maybe that's what I was hoping for. I was like, they're going to be friends. Like, <laughs> no, they they're not. Yeah. They don't end up real friends. I don't know. They end up. They end up okay. <laughs> yeah. Before that, though, the Clovers call them out, and they're like, "Look at mm-hmm. these two very white girls." They're here to steal all of our stuff again. Apparently, their team had been, like, winning nationals using this other team's stuff, which is, like, that's pretty bad. And I feel like they would right. have evidence to, like, prove that beforehand. But whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, they because they said, like, the girl, the previous captain and captains before that would, like, go and film them. And it's like, why wouldn't you just kick them out or, like, get somebody involved to, like, hey, stop doing that right I like you can know. go to like a superintendent or a principal will be like hey that's illegal or an athletic director especially because it is a competition technically like this is a fair there's like people in place to take totally it. and i don't know how they didn't they said they didn't get noticed for some reason to go that's why they never got to go to national i guess which didn't make sense to me because if they're really good anyway like even with the same dance i don't i don't know. yeah well we can't look too far too far into the tree. Yeah. It was Whatever. weird, yeah. They're, but it was their excuse of like why they got overlooked and haven't they should be winning these championships basically right. is what they're saying. And in the end it's wrong to have stolen people's routines. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which they were gonna be like, if you just leave now, we'll just let it go. Just give me your tape. And they're like, uh, we didn't record anything and we're sorry that we stole your stuff. We just found this out as well. Right. And they're like, sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't enough, Kristen, to Kristen to convince her team that they need to like change. Nope. Um, all, all the people on the squad are like, that's all we've learned. We know all these cheers by heart. We've already like worked super hard on this. Why would we change it? That all changes when they have their first game. First game, big deal. You know, first game for Missy too. Oh yeah, the new, the new cheerleader. Yeah, and her brother's now there. All about it. Yeah, she's all yeah. about it. Yeah, we'll see. So this is another part part of the movie where Torrance is just basically just what they call it in the movie, like cheer, like cheer sex scene or something oh like that. God. Like she was like staring at him while he's watching to do the moves, like definitely just cheering for him. And you're like, this is really it was awkward. Like if I was in the stands, I'd be like, what? Is like, what is she guys? looking at? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> she was definitely giving him the eye. I was like, what? What's going on here? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't know about that boyfriend, but she's definitely focused on Cliff. Everything's going well until the girls from the Clovers drop by to pay a little visit. Mm -hmm. And they join in on the cheers because it's their cheers after all. It's just awkward. (laughs) This this part was so weird to me because, okay, so there's actually three cheer squads there then, right? Because you have the home team, the away team, and then the Clovers just drop by. Oh, you're right. We don't even care about the away team. They no. already kind of had a battle with them. Yeah, whatever. The Toros are better, so they don't really pay attention to them. But the, what I love is that all these people seem to be in the stands to watch this football game, right? But the, they are really heavily focused. And like when they're like seeing this, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And like get all, and then they're like embarrassed when their team, lo- when their cheer squad loses. They're like, oh. Right. And then, and I'm just, like, that would, what? I know. People in the stands wouldn't even think about it they'd be eating yeah. their popcorn or whatever <laughs> would be like what the hell is going on here and where did we when did we get more cheerleaders like i wouldn't even notice right i'd be like oh cool they know the moves that's not what happens uh torrance turns around and she's like she talks to her team and she's like who thinks we need to change up our routines and all the team raises their hand and then everyone in the stands also raises their hand i didn't even notice that so yeah it was like what what kind of participation is this? <laughs> they all could hear as well, like everybody, even in the top row. They're like, "Yep, I'm yeah, totally change it." Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, and at this point, though, too, like if you were in the stands and you saw, like if you saw your cheer squad doing it, and then they came and doing the same thing, you'd be like, "Oh, they stole our stuff!" Like you wouldn't think that we stole. Yeah. Our stuff. 
how did they automatically like know and understand what was going on? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> they, yeah, they're just like for sure. They're, they they definitely had this first. <laughs> Uh, it's things like this where I'm like trying really hard to understand this movie because like it's is this it feels like a parody of cheerleaders cheerleader life but it's also a real movie very much so it was a uh, yeah I don't know what genre to put this in either so yeah I I couldn't really like make sense of what of what this movie was but it exists so after the game is that when she stays over at Missy's house or whatever yes so then like work on new move i don't know what they're doing coming up with a new plan yeah what are they doing they yeah they're like okay we have to figure something out because we have to find new routines right now like we have a championship thing coming up because this is strike two against her (gasps) uh her captain hood from what those really two bitchy girls say if you remember i do (laughs) yeah they're like strike two i mean that's fair (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> someone did break their neck <laughs> but i i also want to know like how far along are we because we just were at the first day of school now the first game is probably what like september october maybe even yeah like eh, september would make worse sense. so it's just like man she is losing people left and right real quick yeah but it's okay she is cliff to keep her company um mm-hmm. he's a inspirational guitar player as well yeah. um, well she starts like walk, watching him play guitar and missy's like what are you doing are you into my brother <laughs> and then no no and but then they brush their teeth together and also <laughs> do like 20 spit takes <laughs> yeah every spit was almost like a was like a flirting like wink like he'd spit and they'd like smile and brush their teeth more and you're just like this is the weirdest foreplay ever that is so life. weird <laughs> yeah um brushing teeth wow okay I'll, I'll tell you watch seeing that scene made me i had to like fly back to my young self and like try and understand what i had seen as a kid <laughs> did you did you did you immediately go get a toothbrush and toothpaste and brush your teeth simultaneously <laughs> with them. So you pretended like you were you were just a part of it. Like, guys, I can't believe Yeah, this, this is so teeth. fun. This is how you flirt. <laughs> can't wait to brush my teeth with another person. My <laughs> Right. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would have been like the weird guy who'd have been like trying to make a joke and been like, oh, you brushed too hard. I see blood in your spit or something like that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it wouldn't, wouldn't have been funny and she would have not talked to me. Like, what? So I'd be like, God. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, why are we in the bathroom at the same time? <laughs> yeah, we don't have to be. I can brush my teeth <laughs> yeah. elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a house, so there's probably multiple bathrooms. Or if you're a guest at my house, you should wait till I'm done. <laughs> and then you can go brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. But it was hot. Well, oh, was it? <laughs> well, no, it, was. it wasn't. But I think it was maybe supposed to be. I don't know. I, I don't know. See, that's why I'm so confused about this movie. <laughs> It was supposed to be cute, at least, at the very least. Okay. Very cute. That was cute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, a little flirty. (laughs) Even then, our friend Torrance is still with her boyfriend, who she's calling nonstop and hasn't been answering Mm -hmm. since he's been in college. But he finally answers, and he's like, you don't have any chairs? Okay, just hire a choreographer. Like, (laughs) that's what they do, is come up with stuff. Well, also, you missed an important part here, though. Mm-hmm. On one of the call, on one of the calls, he does finally answer and talk to her. And then when yeah, he's like, whatever, just trying to get her off the phone. I think you know, like hire this guy, he'll he'll fix it. And then he hangs up, but it stays on him for a little bit. And he like he's like, sorry, that was my sister. And because he's with a girl <gasps> in his home room. No, who could have seen this coming? Yeah. So now Blase boyfriend is actually dirtbag boyfriend. Yeah. I mean. So now we're team Cliff Bar for sure. <laughs> he has a very good clean teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That guy, I mean, can you imagine my old previous boyfriend? Never brushed teeth. <laughs> couldn't believe it. Cliff brushes his teeth and spits it out girl, so many times. Girl, yeah, girl, girl, you got to dump that guy. He doesn't even floss, I bet. <laughs> okay, well, that is, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. basic hygiene is important that's true oh god yeah. so hiring a choreographer would cost a lot of money two thousand dollars to be exact ridiculous amount though no way they have ways of figuring it out you know two 
thousand bucks for like what was he there for like an hour, like a day? Yeah, oh, that's a lot for a day. I feel like that's accurate. It might, I, you, you know what? I don't know the last time I checked on my choreography rates. Look, I'll, I'll have you know, I hire a choreographer for everything I do in life, so I would know. <laughs> yeah, you're like that seems about right. That's yeah. You know. For two thousand, wow. <laughs> yeah, actually, maybe a deal. Yeah, a good deal. They they're like, okay, yeah, we need a choreographer. They hire this guy, call him. They need two thousand uh, dollars. They have a car wash. <laughs> mm-hmm. They have all this rich dad money for sure on the whole squad. Somebody has rich dads for sure, mm-hmm. but they're like can't figure out anybody to get them to yeah whatever to get two thousand bucks. So they have a, a car wash, which. That's going to raise $2,000. I know, but this is a teen cheerleader girl movie, so of course there has to be a car wash scene. Of course, right. Had to have a, cl- a car wash scene to raise money, because everybody does in every movie. There, Everybody goes there, you know, to be like, I'm going to go check out, you know, kind of skeevy, because car washes are kind of gross, if you really think about it, when you're doing letting high school girls, like, wash yeah. your car. Because they're wearing these bikinis and whatever. That's, like, kind of the, I guess Weird. that's kind of the point it's like yeah i don't know weird and it's what my it's the whole thing was though it's like it basically looks like their uniforms so you you see them in what they're wearing like that all the time like true they're, like they're pretty skimpy uniform yeah there wasn't you're not seeing anything else so might as well just go to a pep rally <laughs> exactly which i would not spend you know 15 20 bucks at, so Right. Cliff even comes in and he has his car, which was covered in mud. And I was like, what the hell? Like, where, what were you doing? Romantic gesture or creepy? That was weird. <laughs> okay, we are creepy. Okay. Creepy. Where were you going with your car and now you're going to make me wash it? <laughs> his line is the best. So he's like, eh, you know, I just drive hard. You're like, what are you talking <laughs> Drive hard <about>? where? <laughs> yeah, drive hard in a mud pile. Like, you can drive hard on the street, and it wouldn't make your car that dirty. Yeah. It would just ruin your brakes and your tires. Well, you know something about cars. Have you ever done a car wash, like, fundraiser before? <laughs> never. We never You've did. You've never done a car wash fundraiser? No, we never did. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I... <laughs> As a former church kid, <laughs> okay. did a lot of car washes. And I can tell you, I did not wash one car correctly because I didn't know what I was doing because I was a teenager. Like, right, it's never a good wash. No, the thought of nowadays, like taking my car to a bunch of teenagers with like Dawn dish soap, I don't think mm-hmm. so. Like, you're, I don't want that. Yeah, I think I've actually seen one locally here in my little suburb area where, like, I think a baseball team maybe was, they were, like, trying to raise money or okay. something. And I almost, I almost wanted to be like, oh, you know, it is for, like, these, like, 10-year-old baseball team or whatever, sure. But then at the same time, I was just like, I, why don't I just not do that? Maybe I can just give them, like, five to ten bucks straight up and be like, don't wash my car. <laughs> right? I've <laughs> had the same thought. Yes. Yeah. Here's five dollars to not wash my car, please. Either way, they get the money. And right. get this choreographer. Yeah, Cliff just watches. Sorry, Cliff. I'm just can't get over how oh, creepy. No. There is a lot of there's a lot of undertones of like creepy, inappropriate behavior in this movie. There is, and it's like the one yell leader. He like like messes with that girl's butt that one time. Okay, to be honest, I am brushing over a lot of things that made me uncomfortable in this movie. <laughs> yeah, you're like you're like I'm doing that on purpose. So okay. I. I don't know how it doesn't it doesn't age well. It all. doesn't. This movie. There are many things that don't age well. And yeah, mm-hmm. some the weird things that the guy cheer dude was doing was not great. Yeah, he was pervy pretty much the whole movie. And then yeah, just a lot of the jokes too. Like some of the humor would not fly today at all. Yeah, pretty much every other joke was homophobic. Like Cut. you full f word. Or D word. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't believe that. I was like, "Oh my gosh, PG thirteen yeah. in two thousand. Yeah, <laughs> makes me remember yeah. why kids talk like that back in the day. It's because it was like in the movies. That's a good point. Yeah, I just had to throw that out there because yeah, I just was like, Cliff was being weird, and that yell leader being weird. They're all kind of being a little weird. Guys. Yeah. Like, how, about you, how about you just calm down? It's just a car wash, and they're yeah. just leaders. It went both ways, though. At least, at least <laughs> they were true. being weird about guys and girls. 
I was gonna say, yeah, the girls were also very inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, this this movie was edgy for sure, not in great ways. That's that's why I said I was like intimidated, kind of like right up. They were so catty too with each other and their comebacks. I was like, I would hate to be at the high school. I was like, I like we were pretty mean, I think, but like in a sarcastic way. I was like, these guys, I think, actually hate each other, and it's scary. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. I don't think I'd want to be there. No, I was very timid. I was like, I'll go back to school in Kansas. You guys can just go back to California. (laughs) Okay. As a kid watching this, this is what I thought high school was going to be like. Mm -hmm. Definitely wasn't anywhere at all. (laughs) No, no. It wasn't relatable, not really to me at all. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is for some people, but I was like, "Eh." I did. My sister was a cheerleader, full stop, like cheerleader, spirit Mm -hmm. camp spirit stick whatever i was gonna say spirit stick yeah spirit stick so i felt like i got a glimpse into the cheerleader world and it's Mm -hmm. not really like this it is more of a sport which they kind of show yeah my my school like i said was so small that the cheerleaders were more just like people that wanted to be like involved and go to like the uh, after school activities but then like but didn't want to play like didn't want to play basketball didn't want to play volleyball yeah. didn't want to play what, whatever which is fine in such a small town everybody does multiple things so like pe- you were either in the band or you were a cheerleader or you but you were at the game on friday night you were involved that was the point yeah yeah but we never did any competitions. Like, no way. Speaking of competitions, Speaking that choreographer of competitions, guy. That choreographer <laughs> guy. Who would you hire? <laughs> what style would you hire if you could hire any style? <laughs> no. I, no. Not, not that. Not, not him. Not Mr. Spirit Fingers? Him. No. I don't even know any good. I would probably go more towards like the gymnastics route, I think, because if you're actually doing a competition, it is more about like the flips and tucks and twirls, right? Like, and the dive, like yeah. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't worry about maybe like you can yell, you can figure that out. I, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I don't. I don't know what style this guy was supposed to be. Even <laughs> like he had some weird facial hair. I. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were gonna give him like a German accent or something, but no. Nope, mm, yeah, there you go. Or like Romanian, maybe because yeah. that kind of kind of thing. No, he's just a weird dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a weird dude who is very intense, though. And like, I think maybe that was the point. That was the whole vibe he was supposed to give off. It's just like I'm gonna whip these girls into shape. They're just slacking. That's what they're promised. They don't care enough or don't try hard enough. And like, because he called yeah. them all like fat too, and they're like not at. They're not at all. <laughs> they weren't. But I'm like, you guys don't even know. Being thick is the thing now. Um, so yeah, also more problematic things about this movie. Yeah, but he, he was obsessed with the spear fingers. The spear fingers he was. Spear fingers. And they go through with it, and they learn his routine <laughs> right? with spirit fingers, even though they know it's not great. Uh, I don't know if they know that. I think they're going there, like, I think they're like, they fully bought in, because they're like, we did it. We got this choreographer guy, and he did it. He showed us exactly, like, what's going on, because they feel pretty confident going in. So. True. Well, everybody but Torrance because she feels cursed because she dropped that spirit stick one she time. She did do that on purpose, too, which is even worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, they go to regionals or some championship. I have no idea because yeah. I don't know. It's like yeah, it's like to, it's like to qualify for the national championships, I think. But they already have an automatic bid because they won the year before. Oh, wow. Which made to me, I was like, well, then I wouldn't. Why would you even go to this? Thing? <laughs> yeah, why hire someone specifically for this? Or I don't know. Either way, the clovers are there, and they do awesome. Mm-hmm. It felt really hard to judge any of the actual stuff, any of the actual cheers, because I'm like, I don't know what what, what makes this good or bad. So honestly, <laughs> I'm glad it's you fine. did the same thing because I was like, I, if we really break down the cheers, I can't help you. I was yeah, like, I, don't, I, I don't know. It, they, they all looked great to me. They they all looked the same. Yeah, they really did, honestly. <laughs> the only issue is that right before our Toros are supposed to go on, another team does the exact same routine that the choreographer mm-hmm. gave them. Verbatim. <sighs> so they go out there and they, like, flop. No one cheers. The judges are weirded out. Well, like, and Torrance gets interviewed beforehand, too. It's like, we expect a lot from you guys. You know, what are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, you know, I think people just try their best. Like, it was very not a captain answer. It'd be like, we're going to win. And Like, she wasn't motivated at all. She seemed scared, nervous. And then, 
And then mm. because they saw the team do the exact routine, yeah, just threw them off their game. And they were like, ay, ay, ay. Right. Okay. After that, her boyfriend is there and he's like, oh, it's everything's okay. It's fine. You're just like not really cut out to be a captain. <laughs> not captain material. Yikes. Wow. Yikes. Um, meanwhile, like the girl who stole the other team's routines was there and she's like, what are you doing? It's fine. You can just steal them. Yeah. And also Torrance is getting grilled by the cheerleading police who is like, we don't even know how to handle this. <laughs> that this, the cheerleading police made no sense because, okay, so these are the people, first of all, that the Clover should have went to years ago when they were getting their shit stolen. For real. That's yes. number one. Number two is right. They're mad at this group specifically like towards them why though because like you don't know who then technically would have been the first to hire that guy right so 16 should have been like getting reamed out right like of course like i don't understand they're like we're disappointed in you though we would cancel you but you already have a ticket to go to nationals because you won last year and we don't know how to handle this so whatever just come up with a new routine before nationals I guess that, I mean, it sounds like he just doesn't want to do his job. Yeah, and then, like, and then who is he talking about? Like, was he the only guy or how many people were there? Like, it just seemed like a very arbitrary, like, we're going to let it go. But oof, we hate seeing six schools with the same routine. You're like, okay, but who was right. better then? Like, if we all did the same routine, you actually should maybe figure out who was actually better True. at truly. He also says, like, oh, yeah, he's been going to different schools and, like, making them pay for the mm-hmm. same thing. I'm like, well, why are why is Torrance in trouble then? Like, go after this guy who's <laughs> right. stealing thousands of dollars from every yeah, school. Yeah, I guess that was my point. It's like, you wouldn't be yelling at the kids. You'd be yelling at the, like, you'd try to find this guy and be like, oh, we got to do a whole new competition. There's been some salty stuff here. Right? I bet there is money to make from schools. Oh, yeah. I know people who do, like, tours speaking tours and you can definitely make some thousand dollars i'd, I'd <laughs> say so <laughs> yeah i would we, i'm surprised she didn't just go home with cliff right then and just brush their teeth really hard to get over this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, yeah um that doesn't happen no, it doesn't happen she gets like yeah just a talking to from her boyfriend and then he almost convinces her to like give up the the captain hood captainship captain hood Captain, oh. What is that word? Captain, captain Hook. Captain, the Captain Hook. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like thinking about it. But the, there's a weird interaction. Something happens with Cliff. Oh, she, he sees her kiss him, her boyfriend, right? And he's like, ugh, and like runs away. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, I have flowers and a tape for you. But you kissed your boyfriend who he probably would have heard about. I, I can't, couldn't I don't be, know. He seems couldn't surprised. be the first time that he heard about it. And... Could, yeah, cause wouldn't yeah. Missy know? Because her and Missy are like best friends now. Missy would know if she has a boyfriend that she calls. You're right. She was calling her boyfriend from Missy's room, like right next to his exactly. room. Yeah, <laughs> they live in the same house. But you would have found out. Right. Regardless, yeah, we're looking too much into it again. Because, yeah, I like <sighs> how he made a tape as well. Because 2000, I guess it would have been about right like tapes would have still been a thing but like would it not have been a cd as well in 2000 uh, um, we'll let that slide that's pretty close that's pretty nitpicky it wasn't as cool to like rip music mp3s and put them on a cd <laughs> it was so cool to like make your own tape yeah the, mix, the, the mix tape thing but, but this wasn't <laughs> a mix tape it was just him writing a song for her yeah i'm pretty sure it was just him who wrote a song does she listen to it then? She listens to it that night after like basically like she's she's feeling pretty down, almost convinced to give up the whatever captain spot. She like listens to that and then like she does a complete 180 and like finds her confidence, realizes she loves Cliff, realizes her boyfriend's been cheating on her, like all this shit. Like that Whoa. all happened within like a second. Oh my god, yeah. It was like a montage just within a minute of him just, like, and like, it wasn't even that good of a, I couldn't remember what the words were. It it was something like, oh, you're so cool, Torrance, you cheer. It was, like, it wasn't super clever, it wasn't, like, catchy, it was just more like, I'm singing this song for you, Torrance, you're a cheerleader, I like you, I think, stuff like that, you're just like... Yeah, cool. that was, I could, did you just play the mixtape <laughs> right now? Because I, I yeah. pulled it up on YouTube real quick. That's, an, her confidence is going to be needed because the entire team is trying to overthrow uh-huh. her. 
Well, maybe not the entire team, just two of them. Two of them, right. Yeah, so right, so the next morning with this newfound confidence, they're like, okay, we heard from your blah, blah, blah boyfriend that you want to relinquish the title of captain. We will accept it. And they start barking orders like, do this, do this. Like, we're taking over. And she's like, first of all, I never said I would officially give that up. And then... And, yeah, you yeah, tell them. She does. She tells them and they fall in line. And basically all the cheerleaders were like, finally, because she stood up to those like two mean girls, they stand, like the rest of them kind of pipe them like, yeah, listen to what she says. Yeah, and she's like, yo, we just got to make like something original and we've worked hard up to this point so we can keep going and do something that'll actually work. We totally go to LA inner city and find out some new moves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just try a different yeah, school. Exactly. There's a lot of schools in LA. They kind of are inspired then and she's finally acting like a captain, you could say. Yeah, finally. Gosh, it took you half a year, Torrance. Jeez. It did. Or however long this is happening. <laughs> it feels like it's three weeks, but I think it's been like a semester at least. <laughs> Because I think they're still playing football at one point. Because those football guys keep popping up randomly whenever they make really terrible jokes. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's the only reason they're here. True. Also, they do. she does break up with her boyfriend, I forgot. So she does go back to college. Or does that happen later? No, that happens now, right? I think that might happen yeah, it happens now. Yeah, right. So, because, yeah, right after she wins the team back, she goes to whatever college he is, probably UCLA or something, and knocks on his door and breaks up with him. She's like, dude, you're not boyfriend material, and I'm keeping the captain Whoa. <laughs> it was a really good, you know, breakup speech. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, this was actually funny, and they did kind of, earlier I made fun of, was he really the popular guy in school being a yell leader? He was with that girl you know, in the dorm room that he was cheating on her with and she leaves, she, she overheard, here's the conversation of him getting broken up with and she's like, she leaves because she's like, ugh, you were a yell leader? And like, like it wasn't cool and I was just like, there you go, that's him, you're like, that's what right. I thought maybe would have, yeah. Either way, he's out of our Thank hair. Gosh. Yeah, he didn't, I don't even remember his name, he was nothing, like, he was just there. He really was, just boyfriend number one. <laughs> boyfriend number one. So, the Toros are going to work hard and do something original. Meanwhile, the Clovers aren't able to go to nationals because they weren't able to get funding for it. So Torrance is like, that's not fair. I'm going to make sure they get to go. And she finds the resources and gets them a sponsor. Yeah, but you know who the sponsor was? Who? It was her dad. Remember her dad's company or whatever? (laughs) Okay, earlier... You couldn't have done that with the car wash thing? For, um, f- <laughs> yes. For probably less money. <laughs> Made no sense. Torrance thought she was doing the right thing, but the Clover girls didn't think so. They're like, okay, you're going to steal our stuff, and now you're going to be like, oh, sorry, here's a <laughs> check to go, you know, to Nashville. Right. They're taking it as charity, and she's like, I don't think so. Right. They're like, we, we can figure out our own way to get there, which they do. Well, uh, it's through Paulette. <laughs> and I'll say this too about the whole like Gabrielle Union and Kristen Dunst thing. Like Torrance has actually been like pretty okay with them. Like she felt bad about stealing their stuff. She admits they're really good. She yeah. thinks the captain is like awesome. And then she tries to help him raise this money, right? Like she is actually, I think, kind of too good. But this the other girl is just like pretty mean the whole time. Like, F you, no, don't need you, don't care, don't want your friendship, don't care. Like, I don't know how many times she has to be like, Get away from me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Just please they don't just, come here. Yeah. So why are you here? She's the girl paying $5 for Torrance to not wash your car. Be like, can you get away from my car? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. She really would. I th- I like their, like, push and pull kind of friendship mm. in this. I think it makes sense because they're supposed to be both be captains and like be able to fend for their own yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. But you can tell, yeah, the Clover, like Gabrielle Union is way more ruthless than she is for sure. Oh, yeah. And by far a better captain. By far. I mean, they had the better <laughs> moves. <laughs> better the moves. Time. They already had the work ethics. They were basically prepared the whole time. They were, they were, it seemed like it was pretty, we're just waiting for Nationals. They get their check, though. They get a, a wish from Paulette, the TV show, so that they can go to nationals, which is cool. It's cool. I don't really understand. So, like, the Paulette, I guess, was that just, like, a 
it's almost just like a local TV show where is it like an Oprah where she like gives money to like people like uh, I guess. that's what it seemed like. It was I have no idea what it was. This was. Cool. Yeah, it was just like a talk show, but you're just like all right, all right. Yeah. So they go on the yeah they win money from this talk show host basically. I will say what I did love is that they had like a camera set up of them in the gym to accept the award, and when they showed the TV footage of them in the gym, it went to like a crappy, crappy camera quality. <laughs> it really reminded me of like, oh yeah, cameras used to be really crappy. I didn't even notice. See, that's fair. Yeah, I, it was it was a nice touch. <laughs> Don't worry, I was I was upset about ten other things. Probably, I was just like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> I was just looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I don't know about the cheerleading like moves and techniques, but let me tell you about this camera angle. Okay, so nationals are happening like now. Do we ever see? We don't even see like the Toros team really working on anything <laughs> new. Uh, yes, we do. There was a montage. There was a, okay the montage oh. of them because. Because you asked earlier, like, what style would you choose? They're like, we're going to learn from everyone. They get a, like, a ballet dancer. They get a gymnast. They get a mime person, like a person who's a mime. They get all oh, that from okay, mime okay. Person. They get, like, puppeteer, weird, whatever. Just anybody who's weird and does dance or any kind of choreography. They, cool. like, they try to learn from all of them. We're like, we're going to take all this shit and combine it. Nationals are happening, though, and everyone is freaking out. It, you get to see some funny cheerleader behind the scenes moments, I guess. I feel like they didn't do a good enough job of showing like the Clover's routine and then the other, like the Toro's routine. They did a little bit, I guess, show both of them because they had to, but like they should have clearly been above. They do a lot of like just showing random teams though, like doing stuff. And you're just like, uh, we don't even know who these people are. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you're like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. They, and they try to show some like funny things with, people from other teams and you're like what is going on right now like someone throws mm. up and then people throw away candy bars afterwards and you're like i don't okay yeah, or, the, or they <laughs> do show, like the one team i think some, like a couple falls like people fall over a couple times and like ruin it so like mm-hmm. they did show some failures as well and then you had like the moment of like the one yell leader he finds like another yell leader on the team and they kind of have like a little flirt thing going on that was kind of cute too but we get to see the clovers and they like we said earlier we don't know anything about cheer routines so we're just like cool yeah that was a thing to me it looked like they did very similar moves again like i couldn't tell the difference right <laughs> like yeah i was i really expected the toros one like they should have been like doing really weird stuff and almost been like a play you know where all the things came into mix because you couldn't tell me where like uh, the ballet teaching ever came into mix. like where did that ha- where'd that go then right they do some routine and it it looks just like a normal cheer i feel like i didn't get to like see it that well no. like they show like random bits of pieces of it happening but you don't ever see just like it happening and then like torrance main cheerleader you would think maybe she has like a solo part or something like kind of stand out. Like she never does anything that's like, they never even really show her. Like, is she even good at cheering? Yeah, you're right. Whatever. Like, I don't know. <laughs> at this point I was like, okay, can we, <laughs> well, I'm ready for the uh, judging <laughs> to take place, which it does. And some team gets third place and then the Toros get second place. And then the Clovers actually win it, which is like, okay, cool. Yeah. Woo! Finally they won. Yeah. And that, I think is the movie. Well, I know I have one. I have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is just another. Remember, there we talked about lessons earlier. So they did. So oh, remember okay. stealing their moves, even though they were original. They realized they realized that they should like just even if it's better to get second if you just do your best and practice and work hard rather than like cheat and win. That was like kind of like the oh, the lesson. Yeah. But the line that I really got pissed about was they, so afterwards, Cliff comes, you know, and they kiss and like, cause he's like, I'm your boyfriend now, I think. And then Torrance is, he's like, how does it feel to get second? And she's like, you know what? Second feels like first. And you're like, no, that's what losers say. And that's in my what? head. In my uh, head, yeah. I was like, uh, oh, <laughs> you got second. You're a loser. Nobody talks like, like if you oh. got second. You'd be so pissed. Like, they're supposed to win. You'd be like, mm. like, no, it doesn't feel, doesn't right. feel good so to get second. Is she actually Captain Material or not? <laughs> I 
would say maybe at the end of all this, maybe not. I don't think you can get any closure in the other movies because I think they replace her with a different actress. Oh, good. So <laughs> yeah, we'll never. Know. We won't. We'll never know Kirsten's yeah. story. But they, but they, Gabrielle Union and her did have like a little thing at the end where like they just showed respect and were like, "Congratulations, you were good." And she's like, "Yeah, you were good too, but you were better." She's like, "Yeah, I was better." <laughs> like that, I am so down with her. Cap, that captain attitude is way better. Like she's, yes. better. she's way. Like, she expected to win, and they won. She's like, of course we did. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And she's a big she's a big Husker fan, Gabrielle Union, so I got to throw that out there as I'm a Husker fan. What? Yeah. She's like a huge Nebraska Cornhusker fan. I'm really... She okay. went to school there, I think. I oh. Think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I had no idea. I just learned that she was part of a band. She's in a band? And apparently they sang a song for this or something like something babes or something i didn't uh well i highly recommend okay something that completely changed my perspective of this movie is looking through the like fun facts on imdb because there's so many in this movie there's so many references and there's so many like actors who have been in other movies related to cheerleading and like buffy the vampire slayer somehow like connects to this movie it seems like there's a whole world of like cheer fun movie stuff that i don't even know about that i don't i didn't understand like open the door to this like cheer yeah whole cheer life cheer leading world life right definitely interesting read about this very culturally relevant movies stuff (laughs) yeah actually yeah it was kind of but that that is basically that is the movie that is bring it on they brought it and they lost Not... it was close <laughs> they brought their best but it felt like they won sure sure wow that's probably the slogan they use for this movie <laughs> yeah <laughs> losers second like feels like first um what are you like your overall thoughts what <laughs> what how did you feel after watching this yeah, i honestly don't i don't know it's almost I, I think kind of what I said earlier is just like, I I came in expecting a totally different movie. And so when that didn't happen, I was surprised. So honestly, I, it kept me engaged. And I was kind of like, where is this going? Like, what is going to happen here? And, but I was disappointed, I think, in the fact that they portray it as such like a, this school versus this school or this squad versus this squad that that didn't really happen. And I wanted more of that. Yeah. I definitely was expecting like other teams to bring it mm-hmm. on to other teams and the, like yeah, back like, and little, forth. Like, and... Almost like a dance movie where they do like little dance battles in the streets or whatever, but it would be like a cheerleading movie where they fight during games or whatever. And you're like, that's what I want. <laughs> right. Who was bringing it on to who in this movie? Like <laughs> the people who stole their routines are bringing it on by trying think... to, make something original i think all the high schoolers were bringing it on to other high schoolers because they were sexually inappropriate they really were uh yeah yeah. like like i said it was a lot more raunchier than i thought too for like a 2013 or 2000 pg-13 movie like it was so it was very in your face yeah um okay you want to do some truths and a goofs yes i can't wait are you feeling it okay i have Three statements. One of them is not true. <laughs> is, is that the goof? <laughs> that is the goof. <laughs> that is the game. <laughs> um, Bring it on. Okay. First, <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I'm just First one is, Kirsten Dunst was an actual cheerleader when she went to high school. Second is, while filming a car scene, someone tried to drive them off the road. Third one is, none of the actors were teenagers at the time of filming this. Okay. They're definitely none of them were teenage no way except that eight-year-old girl who was actually probably 15 at the time she looked like a cheerleader she was a cheerleader i'll go with b did not get ran or tried to get run off the road Uh, you're right kirsten was actually 17 and some of the other cheerleaders were 18 and 19 no way the rest of them were over 20 (laughs) um she was an actual cheerleader in high school and a car did try to run them off the road. They were upset that they were filming and like taking up the road. <laughs> so a car behind them was trying to like run the cameraman wow. off the road. And so there's actually a scene in the movie where you can see one of the actors kind of like looking back in the side view mirror. And he's looking back to like see if, uh, see the guy get arrested because the police were coming. 
Oh. Like, <laughs> it was a really interesting story. That is, they should have just put that in the movie. <laughs> uh, right? That's good. Oh, That's a good. Those are good. Man. That's a good goof. Would you watch this movie Ooh. again? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I. Wa- I don't know if I'd watch it again because it was like I feel like I knew about it in high school. Like I said, it wasn't what I thought it was. Like it turned out to be pretty good. Like I thought it was like surprisingly okay from what it was. But like I don't know if like me personally, if I'd be like, you know what, I should watch is Bring It On Again. <laughs> like <laughs> like I'd, I'd probably, like now that I've seen it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I feel like good that I watched it. I was like, I need to do see that probably yeah who i'd recommend it to though because i probably wouldn't watch it again would be like maybe people our age who it's like do you want to go back and rewatch this like really weird 2000s movie like it just to see what it was kind of like to remember because it seems like it was forever ago but it like in my head it's like in my heart head and heart it doesn't feel like it was forever ago <laughs> but like that felt old i'm on the same page i don't think i could sit down and watch this again Having watched it as an adult now, uh, I think I'm good (laughs) for some of the same reasons. It was really not like, uh, it was kind of unsavory in some of, Mm -hmm. in in parts of it where I was uncomfortable with what was going on. (laughs) Yeah, very much so. Um, And I think I'm on the same page. Like if Bring It On was was a big part of your life and you're not sure what it was about, take a step back and watch it and then leave it there (laughs) and move on. Um, I just got flashbacks to when at a pep rally, they threw around Laffy Taffy at everyone and played the song Laffy Taffy and the cheerleaders danced to it. And okay, oh. yeah, I'm going to leave that oh. memory back. Exactly. In, in some of, the, some of these high school well. movies should just stay in high school. Any other last cheerleading thoughts? Uh, no, I think that's it. But if they don't want to be cursed by dropping the spirit stick, they should leave a review on apple podcast and itunes yeah i was like i didn't say yeah. podcast you guys if you're listening to it you know where it's at yeah or you know come cheer us on at twitter at pod and together or facebook at pod and together or you can email us at podness together at gmail.com yeah any movies that you think we should review from your childhood <laughs> yeah. you know we'll watch them so you don't have to <laughs> any ones that don't age as well as you do let us know later guys bye, bye. Aggressive. <laughs> Be aggressive.